Hi friends! This is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me again. This is the testimony of Trixie Glimmer Smith. I think it's part five! I never know. Why do you even expect me to have any sort of answer on parts? I don't plan these things. Poke the Toad Row for the series. It's really cool. Uh, it's a lot of fun. If you are just now seeing this, check out Parson at first. So, click the i-card. Poke the Toad Row. Do it. Do the things in the stuff, and while you're poking things, poke subscribe. So that way, the YouTube algorithm treats me like a human. That'd be great. Alright, so let's load. Last time we left off, which has been a while, uh, Heidi got attacked, essentially, uh, by the matted figure, which is controlled by whatever is in the basement that talks in yellow and is expecting uh, Nikita tomorrow night. Okay, let's go. Sorry for, like, ruining everything for you, Heidi. I effed up pretty badly. Hey, now, it's not your fault. I shouldn't have gotten you involved in this weird stuff. Heck, I shouldn't have gotten myself involved in this weird stuff. I think it's time I go straight lace and start running the shop properly. Really? How do you thought for a moment? Eh, nah. <laughs> I'll probably just sell it and get a job as a bouncer. Oh, get it, Heidi. The really violent bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> the taser. <laughs> well, not anymore. Those exploded, I think. I wasn't sure if she was joking or not. How do you fancy- How do you fancy free entry to whatever club I work at? I think I'll pass on that. I think so. What about your moonbeam stuff? Will you keep that for the Dungeons and Fungeons games? She picked the mask of Delilah Moonbeam up off the floor. Ah, heck. I can't burn this. It's kind of special to me. Sorry, packing it away into the keep box. Hey, uh, Heidi? I know it's a big ask. After all my problems, do you think I could maybe have the mask? Hey, look at the mask. Sure, Trixie. It's a present, okay? To make up for all the times I yell at you and stuff. You can wear it to your graduation and totally prank everybody. Ha ha ha! We fixed up the shop for a while. It was a real mess. At some point, I realized. At some point, I realized everything that had happened had made me completely forget about Nikita. I glanced out the window at the full man mo moon hung low in the sky. I knew Nikita would be heading Death Del Lane soon. Maybe she was already there. I felt bad leaving Heidi. And if it wasn't for the pit in my stomach, I got when I got when I imagined Nikita, intentionally or not, releasing the horrors of Carcosa into the our world, I would have gladly stayed. Hey Heidi, I have to go do something. Will you be okay here by yourself? Huh? You need to do something? At like midnight? After what we just saw? What's that important? Is everything okay, Trixie? Yes, it's fine. I just- something important. I need to help out my friend. She's in trouble is all. Yeah? I mean... You helped me, right? Maybe I can help you help them? I wanted to say yes. With Heidi there, maybe- With Heidi there, maybe I could stop Nikita. Sorry for me stumbling over words. It's morning! You know. Cheers and all that. And yet I couldn't let myself be weak and bring her along. I couldn't be a coward and drag Heidi into something worse than what she had already experienced because of me. I mean, she kind of put you up for it? I mean, her illegal alter ego. <laughs> Delilah Moonbeam. No, this was something I had to do alone. Why? Let Heidi come there. She had a taser. <laughs> no, Heidi. It's okay. It's nothing serious. It is se something serious. Bring her along. <laughs> it's just a private thing, you know? No, it's not. Uni stuff. I mean, it's kind of uni stuff, you're right. Yeah. Nothing I can do? Ugh. Well, 
A lift to Daftel Lane might be nice. That was a noise. The lane was quiet. It looked like Nikita hadn't opened the gate. Yet, at least. You're good? Totally. Thank you, Heidi. And thank you for, like, being my friend and stuff. Despite everything that happened, I've really liked hanging out with you. Yeah, it's been fun. But hey, it's not like you're going anywhere. I'll see you tomorrow, right? I wasn't sure. I am sure. <laughs> you should get to bed or whatever you do at night. I'll be okay here. I just gotta help my friend. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow then, bud. You have a good night, okay, Trixie? See ya, Heidi. I waved her off as her motorcycle sped towards town. I hope this wouldn't be the last time I saw her. I walked down Daffodil Lane towards the abandoned cottage. It must it must have been about one or two in the morning. I feared I was too late, but there didn't seem to be any sign that Nikita had been successful. The abandoned cottage seemed unchanged. Could it be that Nikita hadn't come? My hopes were shattered when I stepped inside. I could hear murmuring from the basement. Nikita was here. Surrounded by cattle, she stood upon a ye uh, the yellow sign. She faced away from me, chanting to herself. I think she was trying to repeat some kind of incantation, but she kept tripping up on the, her words and losing her place. A small crystal sat in the circle of the yellow sign, shimmering faintly in the candlelight. I had to talk her out of this madness. I knew I was too weak to fight her after the night, uh, night's events so far. I'm pretty sure Nikita is more violent than she looks. Nikita! Oh, Trixie. I'm surprised you dared show your furry little face here. I assumed you'd be in your room, drawing bat hentai or something. That's very specific. I have to say, I'm impressed. I almost admire your dedication to annoying me. But you're too late, the ritual is in progress. I walk across the cloud waves to my destiny. Um, I mean right now, you're just kinda, kind of stood there. Okay, but soon, I shall walk across the cloud waves to my destiny. It's not like you're gonna stop me. By all means, stay and watch my ascension. Or, go away. I don't care. Just, I just need to wait a little longer at all. Was Nikita wrong? She seemed confused somehow. The ritual didn't seem to be going to plan. The candles had almost melted to their bases. How long had she been here? Nikita, stop. The ritual isn't working for you. You won't get through the, your gate. How about you come back to uni with me and we can talk this out? No! I will not forfeit my birthright because of your little lies. I will succeed. It's... It's just taking a, lo a little longer than it should. I need to prove to the king. I need to show him my faith has not faltered. The one who sits on the broken throne cannot be weak. They cannot be unsure. I... Maybe I made a mistake. The candle placement must be wrong, or... Maybe my pronunci uh, pronunciation is off? She started flickering through her notebook, desperation building on her face. I'm starting to doubt Nikita. I had expected her to summon up a portal of shimmering cloud and step through to her destiny. Instead, she just seemed utterly broken. Deranged. Maybe. Maybe you're wrong. About the ritual. About the throne. About that play. Trixie, shut up! I, I know what's wrong. <sighs> the one external variable. It's you. This is a test. I must prove myself. No. My loyalty. No. Well, I will not break. I swear to my king, from upon the broken throne I shall call forth the dread fleet, the ashen horrors of the twilight quarter, and the iron watchmen. I shall set them on Trixie and crush her. And now, my king, will you bring me to the white gate? She was serious. The malevolence in her voice was enough to kill any doubt I had that these 
were the words of a madwoman. Nikita had to be stopped. This ritual could not be completed. I remember the things I'd brought with me. They might be the only way to end this without a fight. Which is pretty sure which I was pretty sure I'd lose. Or with Nikita winning. Which I'm pretty sure would end with me dead. Sorry, Nikita. But it's too late. I know you haven't been chosen. I tried to sound at least somewhat sure of myself. Nikita looked pissed. That's real cute, Trixie. You finally learned to stand up for yourself. But surely you realized the smart move was to know your place and be my underling. Now shut up and tremble in my in your pathetic little boots as I complete my ritual. Nikita threw her arms into the air like she just didn't care. <laughs> Nothing happened. Well, I mean, fair. Gah! I might know why your portal isn't opening. I pulled Tabby's Psyker crystal from my bag. Why? Are you, why are you helping her? Honey boo! It sparkled in the candlelight. Whether it was actually doing anything, I didn't know. But Nikita seemed taken aback. What? what? Another crystal. Is this a trick? What are you playing at, Smith? Two sacred crystals in close proximity. Well, they neutralize each other, right? Why are you telling her? Oh, oh my god. My sweet Trixie honey bun. D honey boo sweetheart, don't, don't do that. <laughs> you have the key to your victory just by sitting there. You didn't know. You didn't know that. I- no. This is a trick. You're trying to trick me, Trixie. It's in your name. <laughs> I- I won't fall for your- your... Trixie tricks. <laughs> Trixie tricks. <laughs> brand new bu uh, bunny ra- uh, brand new, uh, trick cereal. Trixie tricks. Now with skulls. I won't fall for your- She stopped abruptly. She knew I was telling the truth. I guess I have an honest face. Why did you even tell her? I have so many feelings right now. Why? Ugh. No. How- how did you- Oh? You obviously didn't read Reaching New Worlds very carefully. I expected better of you, Nikita. I smirked a sight which I was worried would make Nikita attack me right then and there. Why did you just- not stay- just stay quiet. Her two least favorite things, being wrong and me. No! The UK stomped her foot onto one of the candles, crushing it. She was getting dangerously angry. So, Miss Knight is in your- is in league with you too. Miss Knight? Oh, Tabby Knight. Oh. How am I surprised? She will get what's coming to her. This. This is my destiny, Trixie. It was foretold. She lifted the king in, the king in yellow above her head dramatically. Ta-da! Da-da-da-da-da! Okay. Your crystal is powerless against him. He chose me, Trixie, above any everyone else. Probably because you're the one who, who read it. I'm, I'm gonna say that right now. Crystal or not, the gate will open. And you will pay for your treachery. I'm sorry, Nikita. But I'm not so sure the king has chosen you. I pulled the mask out of the back. Why? Oh my god, you're basically going, but look, I'm the one who's chosen. Here's the things you need. You've been betrayed, Nikita. The king chose me. Oh. What? The mask had come to me indirectly, but that didn't make it any less my right, even if I didn't want it. Nikita laughed at me. She didn't seem convinced. Then a brief flutter in her expression as her eyes focused on the grim visage. In that moment, I knew she recognized the mask. Oh great, King. This- this... can't be. Smith, how- how did you- Her face broke into a blend of fear and betrayal. I was... I was lied to? She fell to her knees, tears streaming between her fingers. And are you forgetting, Nikita? It was me who was given the play. 
You had to beg me to give it to you. I... Trixie, you're... You were the one he chose. None of his whispers were true. He played me like an instrument. Like Kokosa. I have been shamed. My vanity... Taken and crushed? Trixie, I... She broke down in tears. Despite everything, I pitied her. Finish the ritual. Take your place atop the broken throne. But show me mercy, I beg of you. I'm not taking the throne, Nikita. I don't want it. And I think deep down, neither do you. Let's just go back and get some rest. We can pretend this never happened. Obviously that wouldn't happen, but I wanted to keep her calm. It looked like a terrible week was finally coming to a close. But the- the- She pointed meekly at the mask. Looked down at it. For a moment I considered that maybe this truly was my destiny. Was this mask always meant to fall into my hands? I shook my head. That wasn't the path I was willing to take. Oh, I had nothing to do with Carcosa and the false promises of the king in yellow. We can destroy it. The play too. It's all evil, Nikita. Just look what it's done to us. Let's get back to uni, okay? Uni. Yes, okay, Trixie. Oh, I slept well that night. Well, that was different than I was expecting. The very next morning, me and Nikita burnt the king in yellow behind the uh, the bike shed. I was worried she might snap back into her mania and try to stop me. But she had nothing to say. It was like being outsmarted had totally crushed any desire Nikita had to keep up her mad charade. I'm pretty sure she'll be back to her old self once the election comes along, for better or for worse. Still, she seems to have developed some small amount of modesty. And I swear, I can see a hint of respect for me in her eyes. Which I'm not entirely sure I like. It's uncanny. After the play's funeral pyro- <laughs> pyre. Oh, of course, just, you know, a funeral pyro for a book. I wait, wait, no. I convinced Nikita to go do some of her election work. I told her not to write my report. I wanted to do it myself, hence why I'd appreciate some more time to finish it. I've been swatting off. Worried calls from Heidi for the last two days. I think she knows something is up, but as soon as I submit this form, I'm going to uh, meet up with her. I shall not speak of t to her of the King in Yellow. That's a secret between me, me, Nikita, and you, faculty admin. I literally forgot I was writing this to the faculty admin. Oh god, I love this game. <laughs> this is awesome. I still need to talk to her about our experience with the matted figure. I have so many questions about the night. About the matted figure. About sheep and her world's forgotten past. But I remember the knowing, plotting smirk that cruel figure gave us before it left the shop. My heart fills with a dread matched only by one thing. What I read inside the king in yellow. Oh, good use of music there. The end! We hit the end! Oh, the testimony of Trixie Glimmersmith. Oh, great job, guys. Like, I'm glad, like, the music is awesome. Uh, as is the storytelling and the visuals. Love it all. Great, I'm done. <laughs> oh my god, do we get to keep going now? I just need to take this down to the office and I can start work. Oh, there we go. Trixie, show me your statement immediately. I just realized I'm relying on you not to get me expelled with whatever you wrote on this, on this thing. Jeez, Nikita. How did you get in here? The door, Trixie. <laughs> now hand over that bit of paper so I can review it for you. Oh, yeah, it's totally all these papers. It's, um, 200 pages. Excuse me, but what? <laughs> whatever, Trixie. I'm gonna skim read it. And you've admitted to cheating last term, as well as like five crimes in this. <laughs> and how come you keep describing yourself as subby whenever I'm shouting at you in it? You're you're real weirdo, Smith. 
Besides, the word limit on that form is like 300. This... Look, Trixie, I respect that you've actually put some effort into something for once in your life, but this is way too long. What a waste of time. I'll try it for you and write you a less horrible statement. One thing that will actually get read, and more importantly, not get us arrested or worse, expelled. <laughs> I'll just say you had a trouble working this week because your albinism made working during the heat wave difficult. Oh, that's brilliant. There, saved you 50,000 words. Oh, that's like, I mean, she, she basically wrote her own fanfic. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, Nikita. Welp, time to get to work. Just as soon as I finish reading all of my Cyber Dracula reboot theories online. And talk to Heidi. Talk to Heidi, please. Oh, I guess that was it. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. I didn't know we were that close to the end, which is fine. Um, that was an epic conclusion. Okay, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna gush a little bit. I really enjoyed this. I also enjoyed the fact that, like, there were so many elements that led up to things. Um, and there seems to be two other paths, potentially, with Greg and Belle. I wonder if that affects the outcome. Um, I really would love to go back and look at these, so definitely let me know down below in the comments if you want me to uh, go down Greg's route or go down Belle's route. Um, or see if there's alternate endings here. Definitely enjoyed this. This was fun. Um, very delightful. And I think there's another part of this sequence. It's called like Three Lesbians in a Burrow. Uh, I may be playing that upcoming. So in the meantime, please subscribe so that way I can keep doing this. <laughs> I'm really, really, um, excited about all the things I have coming up and all the plans I have for this channel and how much joy it brings you know me to be able to do this for the greater community so definitely let me know how I'm doing give me a thumbs up give me a subscribe drop me a note whatever you want to do because you know me and you we're tight okay with that I love you all I'll see you next time Bye!